Hi guys, it's me Linny. This is Candy Buff Creations, a place for me to come and share my randomness. And I'm doing vlog August, vlog every day of August. And we're on day four, is it day four? And I'm still going. I'm quite impressed with myself. Um I Oh, well, don't know where I'm going with that one. Right, wait. <laughs> when I went to my mum's the other day, she asked me if I can make her a blanket. I was like, yeah, sure, mum, you know. And the, she got a pattern out of Women's Weekly magazine. And I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to find who the pattern's by. And... If I had the sense I was born with, I would have probably, you know, done this before. So I was organised. But we've just put the kids to bed. And I can't find it. I can't find out who this pattern's by. But I'm going to show you the cushion because that's got a close-up. It's really glary. They're granny square hearts. And I said, like, yeah, mum. I can do that. So she passes me that. And I'm like, you don't want the colours, right? Because I don't want to buy more yarn than I have to. And she's like, no, just do what you want. Well, the actual answer was, do what you want, because that's what you do anyway. And I'm also changing the size of it, because the blanket is only six, six five squares by four. Four by five. Which to me isn't big enough for an adult size blanket. So I started. I started last night. And the squares are coming out like this. They are so cute. I'm not. I'm not into hearts like this. I made my partner. I'll dig. I might dig it out. I'll show you tomorrow. A anatomically correct heart one year for Valentine's Day. That's hearts I'm into. These don't really. But. They are so cute. It's just, all of this is just scrap yarn. It's just all acrylic. So it's safe to throw in the wash and whatever. So I done, that was three. There's four. Oh, this one, this one needs stretching out a bit. Five. And I've just been doing these. I started last night after I filmed. I was watching a movie. Was I watching a movie? No, I wasn't watching a movie. I was watching Most Haunted. Because of who I am as a person. That one. So that's those. And I've also done... That's one of the centres. It's a really easy pattern. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find it so I can link it. That's like not in the magazine. Because it's really sweet. And it just, it starts with a, like, granny square. Like, that way up to. And then it, on two sides it's got, like, I think those are double trebles in the UK. So that'll just be trebles for you guys in the States. If I'm wrong, someone correct me. And then a row of trebles and then you just turn it into a square from that. And there's some sort of weird mass concoction. But I've got the pattern memorised, which is kind of helpful. So I've done six. I'm thinking I'm going to do six by six at least. And then put a good border on it. And then see how I feel. Well, I'm going to do six to six to start with. And then see how big it is. But I think that would be a much better sort of size. I am actually thinking this would be a really cute sweater. Like for the winter, so a fly just like flew in my ear. Like, be cute. Like an off-the-shoulder type sweatery, or a wrap. I don't know. But that is what we have done today. My partner is now has two weeks off of work, which is great. So I actually have help with the kids, which is yay. Tiny human will not be making an appearance tonight. He is tucked up in bed. My partner's upstairs with them, so he's going to catch them if they like sneak out of bed. 
because they're little stinkers. But that is what I've been doing. Um, I've added a few rows onto my friend's shawl, but until it's like, it's literally blah, blah, blah. Until it's like, you know, quite a bit bigger, I'm not going to bother showing you because I just, I think I've done like two or three rows the other day. If you can hear moving around, that's the other half and older tiny human, I think. Sounds like the older tiny human. I've got, sorry, it was like a brown paper bag. The, because I'm making these out of my scraps, it means that my scrap, some of my scraps are now going to be too small to be anything else. Because like, like this I can make into something. But if they're pretty much if they're smaller than this, they've gone into here. And they're going to get added to my, ooh, hello light. <laughs> they're going to get added to my granny stripe blanket, which I am still working on. I might show you that at some point as well. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. My oldest one didn't get the hang of going backwards and forwards for crocheting. So I think we're going to have to work on that. He's quite happy just sitting and chaining, to be honest. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to work something out for him. I'm wondering if it's the way that I'm trying to show him. Or whether he's just nine and not listening to what I say. Either of these is possible. Do you like my pom-pom wreath? That, um, we'll see if I can take it down without destroying everything. I still need to, this was made from scraps as well. And I need to put on like three or four more pom-poms up here. I love pom-poms. Like, and the, this is a metal wreath mould. Obviously you can see the metal there. And I got it from a charity shop for like 10p. Which consider like in the shops they're like three or four pounds for the styrofoam ones and I have used pool noodles before but our Poundland shop hasn't had them in this year because normally I'll get a pool noodle and cut it in half and then I've got two reef forms and I'm not going to be able to get that to hang back up again though oh well, that's stay down oh, itchy nose right, that is it we are what we are eight minutes i don't know what we're doing tomorrow i don't know if i'm going to get some more of these squares done tonight or i need to start a birthday present and i don't know what to do there's a pattern in the i want to say pocket monster am i going me book but I don't have it with me so I can't show you that I might start or I might make some more golden snitches I don't know I don't know what to do I need someone just to tell me what to do really because left on my own devices I don't seem to get anything done other than the blanket which I said to mum wasn't going to be done until before Christmas well until Christmas and she'll be having it as her Christmas present and I've done a sixth of it already but aren't these lovely? Tell me what you think. And that is me done. I will speak to you all tomorrow. Hopefully I get some stuff done. If I don't, I'm just going to come and say, Hi, I've done nothing. I think we're going to take the children for a good walk tomorrow. To tire them out. Which tires me out. Um... For those of you that don't know, I'm currently on crutches because I have a partially severed Achilles tendon, which makes life a bit more interesting than it needs to be, to be fair. But there we go. So I'm fiddling with these. Like... Oh, wouldn't these in cotton be really nice little face scrubbies? That is an idea. Or a necklace. Or I keep wanting to put actually that'd be really nice on a plate.
plain beanie. I keep wanting to put silly things in my hair right now. If anyone knows of a good shell pattern, like, I don't know what sort of shell they are, like the clamshells, clamshell bra, no. <laughs> a clamshell, I want to crochet a clamshell as like a hair clip. And I haven't found a pattern that I like. So anyone got any ideas about those? It is now ten and a half minutes of me waffling. I am going. Love you all. I'll see you tomorrow.